I'm Matt with Mr. J, and in this video, we're going to work on a percent problem. We have 52 is what percent of 80? Now right here is the percent equation. So the percent times the whole equals the part. We can use this to solve any percent problem, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. Now for this example, our unknown is the percent. 52 is our part and 80 is our whole. Let's start this by writing the equation using variables and then we will plug in. We'll use P for percent, so P for percent, times W for the whole equals A for the part. Now let's plug in what we are given. And I do want to mention before that, as far as figuring out the percent, whole, and part, what I like to do is always find the percent and the whole first. And we can do that by looking for the keyword of. We're going to have a percent of a whole. Of is associated with the whole. And to go off of that, is is associated with the part. The part is a percent of the whole. That's just something to keep in mind. Now we can plug in, and we are looking for the percent. That's our unknown. So let's keep that variable of P times the whole, which is 80, equals the part, which is 52. Now we have a one-step equation that we need to solve. So we need to isolate that variable of P. P is being multiplied by 80, so we need the inverse operation, the opposite operation. That's division. So divide the left side of the equation by 80. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 80 as well. Now the 80s on the left side cancel each other out. So P is now isolated. P equals, and then on the right side, 52 divided by 80 gives us 0 0.65, 65 hundredths. Now that percent is in decimal form, so let's convert it to a percent. And we do that by multiplying the decimal by 100. And a quick way to do that is to move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice, and that gives us 65 so 52 is 65% of 80.